again when this life is o'er I'll fly away to a home on God's celestial shore I'll fly away by and by I'll fly away well that's happy music and today is a happy day and uh, I would like to welcome to our from the shepherd to the sheep devotional time my protege young man who is being used greatly by the Lord here and many other places I'd like to introduce him to you at this time brother Tyler Candy God bless you brother Tyler well, hello, and welcome back to our series on From the Shepherd to the Sheep, our daily devotionals here from Central Baptist Church. And we are continuing, we are actually finishing up in our series for the month of January in Psalm chapter 40. Uh, you'll notice if you're following along with us that we've gotten through verse 10. Uh, and just as a recap, you know, we have talked already about how the fact that you and I may be going through trials and tribulations in our life, but the Lord will be able to pull us out of that pit, whatever that pit is that you are encountering today. All you have to do is cry to the Lord. All you have to do is ask Jesus to, uh, to, to pull you out of that pit. Pit. He will then take you and he will establish you on the rock and that rock is Jesus. All you must do after that is then praise the Lord for what he has done for you and you may see that others around you will then become, begin to trust in the Lord. And with that, you done, don't stop there. You then share that gospel with others. Share the truth with others in your sphere of influence. We all have a congregation. We all are a shepherd at some level or another. And uh, we have a responsibility to share the word, the truth, with them. And if we don't, we then in turn hide that in our hearts. We, the, the word is in our heart, so we're hiding that. We're not sharing it with others. We're concealing it. And what David said was that he instead shared it with others. He didn't hide it. He didn't conceal it. He told the truth to his congregation. And uh, moving forward from there, we're actually going to skip down to verse 17, and we're going to wrap this all up in a nice little bow. In Psalm chapter 40 and verse number 17, we read this, But I am poor and needy, yet the Lord thinketh upon me. Thou art my help and my deliverer. Make no tarrying, O my God. We see David finalizing this chapter of Psalm 40 with these words that even though you and I are the lowest of the low, the Lord thinks on us. The Lord is omniscient. He knows everything. He is everywhere. He is omnipotent. He is all things. He is massive. We can't even begin to understand or even describe the Lord. And yet, He thinks on you. He thinks on me. Even though you and I are the worst of the worst, the lowest of the low. And you may be thinking to yourself, oh, no, Brother Tyler, I am, I am not. There's many people more worse off than I am. Well, you, you might want to look in the book of Proverbs where it says that uh, pride cometh before a haughty spirit. Uh, pride cometh before destruction. There it is. Pride cometh before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. So think to yourself first, am I, am I harboring pride? Am I thinking of myself more than I ought to? Because you and I are exactly what this verse says. We are poor and we are needy. If you think about when you got saved, the only reason you got saved was because you realized you needed a savior. You pushed that pride away. You became humble to the core and you said, I need you. Lord. We are poor and we are needy. And even so, the Lord thinks on us. You are on the Lord's mind. Right now, the Lord is thinking about you. 
and he is wanting you to live your best life. Yet the Lord thinketh upon me. Thou art my help and my deliverer. Make no tarrying, O my God. We have seen it again and again in this book of Psalm and this chapter uh, number 40 that the Lord is our deliverer. He is our help in time of trouble. He is our shield. He is our rock. He is our strong tower. He, are, he is the eagle's wings that cover us. He protects us and he delivers us from the problems that you and I encounter on a daily basis. You must just keep that in the forefront of your mind that you are poor and you are needy, that you need the Lord to deliver you. You aren't able to do it on your own. You weren't the one that pulled you out of that pit in verse number one, in verse number two. You aren't the one that set you on that rock in verse number two. You aren't the one that established your goings. It was the Lord. And so because of that, he is your deliverer. And we need him to deliver us from our trials and from our problems. We, he, we need him to help us throughout each and every day so that you and I can live our best life. And I, I say that by saying our best life in the will of God. It is the will of God that must control our moves, our thoughts, our words, our actions, our deeds. It is that will that will allow us to live victoriously for Christ. And as we finish up this chapter in Psalm, Psalm, Psalm chapter 40, and we finish this series in, in January, it has been great to be able to spend some time in the Word each and every day with you. And I hope that this, this chapter you will read over again and again and again. And you'll see that you need God to pull you out of that, that pit, to set you on the rock of Jesus and to establish your goings. And then you need to go and praise him for all that he has done for you. And you need to be able to see others trusting in the Lord along with yourself. You need to be trusting in the Lord as well. And then you need to be going out and sharing the word of God with others to your congregation because we all have a congregation of some type. We all have that sphere of influence, those people that we touch each and every day. And you and I have a responsibility to share the word of God with them. And you also need to remember that you are poor and needy. Don't think of yourself higher than you ought to think. Don't be proud. Understand that you need God in your life each and every day so that you can have a victorious life, so that he can deliver you, he can be your help, and you can praise him for what he has done in your life. I pray that you'll have a great day, and we'll see you next time. Lord bless. Thank you, Brother Tyler, for those words. Let's pray, shall we? Father, we thank you right now for the good devotional this morning that stirs our heart and encourages us and touch everyone here who needs your intervention in their life. And while our head is bowed and our eyes are closed, if you've never received Christ as your Savior, right now would you pray from your heart something like this, Dear God, I admit that I'm a sinner and I need a Savior. Right now I receive the Lord Jesus Christ into my heart as my personal Savior. Please take away my sins and take me to heaven when I die. And if you prayed that prayer, won't you let us know? And if you're leading someone to Christ, please share that with us as well. And right now, let's pray for others that have special needs. Father, I pray for the sick, the hurting, the needy, the burdened. Right now, will you intervene, come into their life and make a difference, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, you can sing it with me. Here we go. Ready? When I die, hallelujah, by and by, I'll fly away. All right. Oh, I'll fly away, oh, glory. I'll fly away in the morning when I die. Hallelujah, by and by. I'll Have a great day today. You are listening to From the Shepherd to the Sheep Daily Devotionals. This is a ministry of Central Baptist Church in Woodbridge, Virginia. If you would like to learn more about our ministries, you can find us online at cbcwoodbridge.org. 
You will also find many other helpful resources there, including preaching, devotionals, and songs. We thank you for listening to this devotional from the Shepherd to the Sheep.